are trying to know your school charger. Today I will explain you what is recursive drawing and I will show you the steps to draw surface sketch triangle on the computer using scratch. So first I will explain you what is recursive. It is the repeating process output of each stage is the input of the succeeding stages. Step 2 I will explain you how to do this on a paper using the images. Step 1, we should draw a triangle. Step 2, we should add one more triangle to the step 1 triangle. Step 3, add three more triangles to the step 2 triangles. Step 4, we should add six more triangles to the step 3 triangle. We will continue this process till we add the smallest visible triangle. The stopping is called base case. Every recursive algorithm needs a base case. Step 3, we will see how to do this on the computer using Scratch. Recursion and algorithm are the very important tools for computer science and computer modeling. Come, let's see how to do this on the computer using Scratch. Now we are in Scratch. First, we should arrange the circles like a triangle shape. To do this, we should go to costumes and then we should select paint. So, we'll get a blank page over here. There, first we'll get the cat, so just delete it. There, you will make a circle with this sign and change the color with this bucket sign. To red just like that and you can make it dark with this so just put it over there then you should make and then you should change the name to T1 it will be sprite one so you just change it then you should make two more circles just like that the simplest way to make it is to just duplicate with the right click so you can see the option so just click duplicate and it will automatically come like T2 and T3. Then again we should go to paint. So we will get another blank area. There we can make this black square. Just click the square sign. Change the color to black. And just fill it with the bucket. So Make sure that the circles and the square is in the middle. After that, you should place the circle on the red circle on the top, the blue and green on the bottom. And then we should place the square on in the middle. Now let's go to the coding. Make sure that we have selected sprite 1 because it is the thing moving to make the Serpinski triangle. So now we'll just click code. So there we have so many options, and there we should go to events. You can see there when click, just drag it over here in the blank space, and then you should go to pen. If you are a beginner, you should go to here. And you can see the pen option just click over there so you will see like erase all stamp and all so there we should drag erase all just like that and then you should go to control there you can see repeat so just drag it down and we should change this to 10,000 just like that. Next, we'll go to variables and make a variable. You should just write over here random and click OK. So we'll get the block. I already made this block, but when you make it, you will get a tick over here. So just click on the tick so it will go. From there, you should just drag set my variables to. So just drag it. 
over here and change my variables to random. Then we'll go to operators. There you should pick pick random to and keep it over here. You should change 10 to 3. And then you'll again go to control and put if then else one time and then again the second time like that again to operators and then we should drag equal sign and keep it over here. Then we will duplicate Just duplicate and keep it over here also. Change the 50 to 1 over here and here 2. So then we should go to variables and pick the random. Just keep it over there. Again, we'll just keep it over here also. Then we'll go to motion and select set X2 and set Y2. So First you'll do set X2 and just keep it over here and just like that set Y2 down of it. So then we should go to operators and drag plus sign over here then multiple and then the subtract sign yes. like that and then we should put over there the X um, yeah the X position let's drag it over here And just duplicate the same over here and change the X position to Y position. Or we can just go to operators and do the same thing. The plus over here. Then the multiple over here. And then the subtract. Again, we'll go to motion and select um, the Y position. And so here we should type 0 0.5, 0, then point 0.5. Here also we should do that. See, zero point zero point five. So just like that. Then we should go to sensing and just go down. So you will get backdrop. Just take that, okay? Um, and just put it over there like that. Oopsies. Just put that over there, okay. So then you should be so careful about that. So you should drag this over here and put it over there. Yeah. Just like that. Uh, do to this down also. Do down. 
same way yeah so you'll get um, down and up you'll get some space remaining there for that we should go to motion and select x position and y position and just put it over here okay so first we should put over here x position then over here y position like that just duplicate and put it over here okay so we'll just do that uh yeah sorry for missing the place um you should drag it okay ah uh, yeah just like that y position also yeah so just go here and right click uh, and just duplicate it keep it over here so make sure it's t1 over here and here t2 so, uh, we'll just do t1 it will automatically come like x position okay so you don't need to do anything over there yeah here t2 We'll just go down so we can finish the down part too. Okay. So like that, just duplicate this or this and keep it over here. Okay. In the end, we'll just see if we do any mistakes or not. Okay. So keep it over there. Okay. Oh, that is a mistake. Um. Anyways, let's go to pen. Take pen down. And do it in the last, the last block, like that. Um, now let's just go up and see if we do anything wrong. Ah, uh, yeah. Here, T3, we should put, um, oh, okay, anyways, that's fine. Yes, so... Let's see, when clicked, erase all, then repeat, then we'll go, go to run the variables and take this. Okay, so this might be a little confusing, let's see that. So, here all x position, yep, here all y, right, uh, yeah, here. Wait, what? Oh, okay, make sure that one is not the... Uh, should be in Y position, okay? Oops. Sorry for that. Oh, that's the wrong one. Don't play that time, okay? So then again over here, let's see. Yep, again. So, now all you duplicated with this same thing, so just, you know, you should change that. Um... Um, okay, let's just see again. Hmm. We are getting X position, X position, and Y position. Okay, T1, and T2, and T2 over here. Okay, this, uh, okay. Yes, now let's play. Okay, so when you really play it, it will come very slow. So you can just click the shift button and just click the go, okay? So I'm not doing it because I already did it, so. Now let's run. Let's see the result. And there we go, the Simbinski track. I hope you like my video. See you again. Bye-bye.